Hello everyone and welcome to the Doom 3 scripting VTM series brought to you by 3dbuzz.com. My name is Jason Busby and joining me we've got Mr. Logan Frank. How's it going Logan? Going good. All right. Now in this VTM series what we're going to do is explore the incredible world of Doom script or scripting in the Doom 3 engine. Now, if you happen to have zero programming or scripting experience, don't worry. We're going to start out simple and work our way up video after video until you know, we finally get to the point where things are nice and complicated. If you happen to have prior programming experience, you may want to skip the first few VTMs and jump in where things start getting a little bit more interesting. Having the prior experience will help you be able to pick up and follow along with absolutely no problem. Now, scripting plays a really really large role in Doom 3 levels. And actually, scripting in general has played a large role in games for the last several years because as these game engines progress, interactivity between the player and the levels has become increasingly important. And as we all know, inside Doom 3, we can interact with just about everything. And we're going to take a look at how we can do that kind of stuff. I mean, you guys are seeing scripts already inside Doom 3 activating machinery. We're seeing scripts that are being activated through the use of GUIs that make all sorts of neat things happen inside the level. Then, of course, scripting for particles and scripting for, well, monsters, weapons. I mean, there's all sorts of different things. And through this series here, we'll take a look at how we can pull off pretty much all of those things. With the exception of GUIs, we will explore GUIs in a GUI VTM series. It just it makes more sense. And in that particular series, what I'm going to do is assume that everybody that's watching it has already gone through this VTM series or already has some sort of prior programming experience. So they should be able to follow along without any problem. Now, level scripting in Doom 3. It's really taken a nice step forward, if you will, compared to all of the other engines out there because of what it allows you to do. In the past, with other engines... Basically, what you had to do is you, you would put objects into the level, and you would link those objects to other objects through a series of parameters that the one object had. Correct, Logan? Right, that, and that's what it would actually comprise what's known as level scripting. You wouldn't actually write code. You're setting up objects that will handle various events for you. Now, don't let that confuse you, because, I mean, there was code writing in these other engines. It's just that if there was not an object that you could add to your level to perform a specific type of task or tasks, then you would have to go and create a new object. To right, it almost it separated code and level editing to a certain extent. Right, and then uh, then you'd take that new object, put it in the level, and again, link everything up. And through linking up all of the, uh, the parameters or properties, that's level scripting. Right, but uh, that's the key there. If you needed additional functionality beyond what was provided with the, uh, the editor by default, you would have to almost go get into the world of modding so you could make this extra object for the functionality you need. In Doom 3, level scripting it allows you to access code that runs right along with the map. It's ge generated specifically for your map, not just as its own object. Exactly. As a matter of fact, inside of, of Doom 3 scripting code, if you will, you can access entities just boom, there you go. You can just say, this entity, do this, move it to here, move it to there, rotate it here, and, and there's no problem. You don't have to go and create other objects. So what's nice is you can have function calls, and for those of you that have no clue what a function call is, don't worry, we'll get into that really soon in the series, but we can make function calls out to our script to have specific things happen when something's triggered or accessed or whatever. And that's something that you couldn't do before. Right. It makes the programming side of level scripting almost seamless, where you're working in the editor, you set it to call some function, and then immediately right next to it, you have your text editor, and you have the function right there. Exactly. So uh, so level scripting inside Doom 3, it's some good stuff, and we've got some neat things lined up for you. So in this series, what we're going to be looking at, of course, what a script is. That's what we're going to spend a couple minutes in the next lesson and just talk about. What is a script? And then uh, from there, we're going to talk about text editors, because you need something that you're going to write your program or your script in. And and we, we use context. It happens to be one of our favorite text editors because it works with all of the different types of scripts that we deal with. Uh, from there, we're going to talk about how scripts execute, and we're going to write our first script, something very, very simple. From there, we'll see if we can add a little bit of um, interesting functionality to it, make it a little bit more complicated, and make it so that we can trigger the script. Uh, from there, we'll, we'll start looking at the fundamentals of programming. We'll get into syntax. We're going to talk about variables, the variable types that are available for you in DoomScript and how to utilize them. We'll talk about scope as well, local variables and global variables. We'll talk about formatting, how to format your code, because that's pretty important, especially if someone else is going to be looking over what you've been writing. Uh, we'll talk about commenting. You know, it's very important that you leave notes behind into what type of log logic you're using or what it is that you're trying to pull off, so that later on when you pick back up on your program and continue coding, you have a you know have a clue what it was you're doing. You don't spend the first half an hour trying to figure out what type of logic you were locked up in. 
Um, we're going to take a look at dealing with entities and events, of course. We're going to look at logical statements. We're going to look at looping. We've got quite a few things um, planned in regards to the fundamentals of programming. And by the time you get done with this VTM series, you're going to have a really, really strong grasp of programming. You should be able to do quite a few incredible things inside of the Doom 3 engine. And um, it's just going to be exciting. So with that, Logan, I say it's about time for us to go ahead and get started.